This is uh, the Floyd Mayweather side to the story. Then I'm going to give you my take on the whole thing. If Floyd was going over there. This is his story. Floyd is going over to his baby mother's house. He's on the phone with her. And uh, he's coming to see his kids, mostly his daughter, because uh, she just had a tooth that came out. And he was going to give her $200 so she could put it under, under their pillow. You know, tooth fairy stuff. So everything's cool. He gets there. And he notices the place is a mess. Then she got her friend that's living there. You know, and he didn't give any authorization to this at all. And she's on the couch. And she's just texting away and just laying around. So they get into an argument because she's not, uh, you know, she's not uh, doing anything. You know, I said, I, only, I won't wash my kids' school clothes all over the house that I bought. You yeah, know, $50 worth of clothes. Yeah, 50 told me that it was a, it was a mess in there. 50, yeah, it looks like the... hoarders. She got the house looking like hoarders. Uh, her, what? Her, her girlfriends. She's running her, she, basically, she's letting her girlfriends live off my, my children's monthly income. Wow. And um, I told her, you know, all this drinking and partying every night, you have to get a job and you need to find a new place. And I need custody of my kids because I love my kids dearly. And I, I think my kids should have a great life. And you know, she's, uh, you just mad, you know, you finna marry that B and... You know, it, it's just a mess. She was going to school, they used to call it, you know, when the, I guess when the song came out, uh, I'm sorry Miss Jackson, they used to always call her Miss Jackson because that, that's her last name, but soon they're going to have to call her Miss Mayweather. Mm, wow. Floyd is a professional boxer, okay? If a professional boxer does the things that they say in this report, she would have marks and bruises. Did they come pick Floyd Mayweather up and arrest when she went to the police station? No. Did they come and pick up Jim Lampley? Yes. You know why? They just picked up Jay Marotti. The guy from Around the Horn was the famous Chicago writer for domestic abuse. They came and picked him up. You know why? Because that was abuse. She, they had marks on them. Okay? They, the cops told her to go to the, to the hospital to get a report so she could try to get a temporary order. Okay? Okay, she has minor injuries. Her injuries don't even show. If I bang my arm right here and go to the hospital, you know what they're going to say? Minor injuries, minor bruise. It don't even have to show. You could be sore here and say, oh, I'm sore right here in my neck. And they're going to list it as minor injuries. He drug you by your hair, a professional boxer's punching you in your face, and you have minor injuries. People wake up. Stop being so stupid and naive. And the thing is, the thing is this: if my children' mother uh, got kicked and beaten, I'm pretty sure that uh, the photos would have been out uh, the next day. And everybody talking about what well, his son said. His son, the cops lead children in interviews all the time. He's their star witness because they have no one else that's credible. Her friend is not credible. The children are the only credible one. That's why they use both the sons. Okay? They let you know that they have no case. They have no story here. Mm. And um, everybody know, in this whole, everybody in the whole world know how much I love my kids. I'm, I'm always talking about my kids. Yeah. Everything that, that I do, I do for my kids. So, they're, you know, as far as, you know, they saying that, um, um, I told my kids I was going to kill them, of course. That never happened. And, um, like I said before, they, they're coaching my oldest son to say certain things. Wow. You know, just like in, in a police report when, you know, they said that uh, my son said that he, had, he ran to the back of the house to the casita. Of course, you know, we call it the guest house or the house in the back. And there's no 10-year-old or 11-year-old kids in casita. So, of course, like I said before, my son is being coached um, to say certain things. And uh, I love my kids. And you that desperate for money? He gave you a seven hundred thousand dollar ring, and you trying to pawn it for three hundred k? Come on, you that desperate for money? It just don't make any sense. That's terrible. And her, you know, her partying, her partying and drinking every night and spending crazy money. 
And um, you know, for the, for those for those that's listening, she actually she, she actually she wants sixty one thousand dollars a month for child support. Right. Mm -hmm. So she's asking for sixty one thousand dollars a month in child support. And I, I don't 